Hey guys, this is Malinki. Welcome back to my channel, Voice of Malinki. Today we will talk about types of root system. And if you are new in my channel, please subscribe my channel. And if you like my video, please do like, comment, and share my video. So let's first talk about how our root forms from the seed. Suppose this is a dormant seed. That means it is yet to be germinated. Now the seed gets its proper environmental factors like water etc and undergoes germination. Now when a seed germinates plant is just in its embryonic state and in this tiny embryo this is the radical radical is the first organ that appears radical is the first organ that appears this radical grows downward into the soil and anchors the seedling so it anchors the seedling like the root. This embryo plant also has a part that will become future stem and is called plumule. It will become future stem. Cotyledon is the embryonic leaf which is the first leaf to appear from a germinating seed. It is the first leaf. Plants with the seed having only one cotyledon like this. So it has only one cotyledon. This part is the cotyledon. It is called monocotyledon because it has only one cotyledon. Example, you can see like wheat. Plants with the seed having two cotyledons like these are called dicotyledons. Here you can see this is one cotyledon, this is second cotyledon. So it has two cotyledons. Example, mustard. So, elongation of this radical leads to the formation of primary root. This is the primary root. This is the primary root. It comes from the radical and it grows inside the soil. Primary root bears branches like these these are different branches which is which are coming from the primary root they are called lateral or secondary roots now the primary roots and its branches constitute the taproot system this is called the taproot system this is taproot so from the name, you can understand that this type of root grows deep down the soil and sucks water from very deep water. It works like a water tap. This type of root system is observed in dicotyledonous plants. Tap root system you will get in dicoty. Ledenous plants. Right? Now, what's about the monocotyledons? So, in monocotyledonous plants, the primary root is short lived. So, first it had the primary root like that. So, it was basically short lived because it appears first from the seed 
then disappears and this primary root is replaced by a large number of roots like this. These roots originate from the base of the stem and constitute the fibrous root system like this. They look like fibers hence the name. In some plants like banyan tree roots arise from parts of the plant other than the radical and are called adventitious roots. In these trees taproot system occurs like this in the beginning as the plant grows the branches become very heavy you can see the branches become very heavy therefore to provide additional support adventitious roots like these arise from branches of the stems and grow vertically downward like this on reaching the ground they enter the soil for fixation these are the three main types of root system